What's up everyone? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Today I'm going to show you something very simple and very quick. It's called step recording. It's been a feature in Cubase forever, since forever, but if you don't know how to do it, this may be very helpful. It'll make you look like a total boss. So let's add an instrument track just to get started. Haley on Sonic. That one comes included with Cubase, so that's a good place to start. And let's make ourselves two, three, four bars. Uh, so here we are. And this is, uh, let's choose an instrument actually first. That would be a smart thing to do. First contact comes with it, which is of course like, uh, which is totally badass, but I think we want like a piano just to demonstrate this better, so. Uh, honky tonk piano. Cool. I like it. So that'll be our instrument of choice to do step recording. So you come into your MIDI sequencer here and the key editor, I believe they call it. See this right here? Uh, look at my mouse. Look at this right here, step input. This is the key to doing step recording. You click that and you see this blue bar that comes up right here on the left. You, mo you move that to where you wish to start. Get rid of that. Um, so now your blue bar is right here at the bar where you wanna start and we can step record in 16th notes or something. So I'll just show you how it works. Let's say I wanted to play something in G. Uh, Every note I play will be a 16th note and you can see it on the screen. So G. Cool. So let's listen to what we have. All right, so that's pretty good. I think I'll switch this just to, to a G. And then we'll switch the quantize to eighth notes. And we'll set up the quantize here so that it's, you know, oh, it's, it's at the right place. So uh, G. Okay, and then we'll go back to that second bar and we'll just add uh, some chords beneath it. So we'll just do like quarter note chords. So down here, like G, D or whatever. Cool, let's hear how that sounds. Oh, I wanted these to be back at the four, so let's move them all back. Cool. All right, let's add a few more chords. So you get the idea. Um, I mean, the powerful thing about this is, you know, those 16th note runs, I don't know if I'd be capable of playing them on the piano. They're pretty uh, fast and my piano skills aren't the best. So if you know what you're going for and you want it to be perfectly quantized, the step recording is a fantastic way to do things. So this has just been a quick tip, uh, to cluing you all into step recorder. It's right here. Then you choose your quantize and wherever the blue line is is where you'll record. So we're here at seven. So if I wanted to do twinkle, twinkle, little star at the seventh bar. Let's hear it. A 
basically, you get the idea. So this has been a quick tutorial. If you enjoyed it, uh, like or subscribe or whatever. And uh, if you have any suggestions on what I should do next, let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.